Local state lawmaker is calling for change after a brutal prison assault. We first told you last week about the attack at SCI Dallas. Eyewitness News reporter Mark Hiller has more from Jackson Township. Candace, what happened here last Thursday leaves a female counselor still hospitalized. A state representative who serves the Back Mountain says it's a case of enough is enough. Behind the walls of SCI Dallas on September 10th, a prison counselor walking to a break room was jumped by an inmate and punched repeatedly. She had several broken bones in her face, a potential brain bleed. She was in the intensive care unit. State Representative Aaron Coffer says the victim never saw it coming. They're really vulnerable in these situations. And to have this young lady who, um, like I said, a young mother, to be out there and to just get, you know, really just beaten up out of nowhere. And, and attacked and, and assaulted. It was pr very brutal. Coffer says he's learned some staff feared something like this would happen. The accused inmate, who's serving a life sentence, was released from restrictive housing where he was held for making violent threats. From my understanding, the corrections officers were trying to warn um, the administration about this particular inmate. And it went unheeded. While Coffer supports tougher legislation and harsher sentences for such prison assaults, he also wants prison subordinate staff to have greater policy input. We need to make sure they're a part of these decision making because they're the ones who are ultimately the ones who are, are at risk. A risk which Ed Peacetrack, a former psychologist at SCI Dallas, witnessed with his own eyes. When you're a, you're a staff member, you're mingling around the inmates at all times. You're walking, you're interchanging, you're talking to them, you have them in your office, you're in private sessions with them. I mean, they, they could do a lot to you. The Pennsylvania State Correction Officers Association has raised the issue with the Wolf administration, calling for more legislative oversight into reporting such attacks and the need to follow through with inmate disciplinary measures. For me, I'm just sick of seeing these headlines. I'm sick of having these types of discussions. We need to do more to make sure that the people inside of our, of our prisons are safe. Representative Coffer has a chance to make his case in person to SCI Dallas officials. He has a meeting scheduled with them on Monday. In Jackson Township, Mark Hiller, Eyewitness News.